Okay, guys, here we are with our first major storm of the season. And no doubt the two biggest terms that you've probably heard about this storm are bomb cyclone and blizzard. Now, let's talk about how those two are connected because they are connected. Bombogenesis is simply put a rapidly strengthening storm. It's a hurricane, it's a snowstorm, doesn't matter. When a storm strengthens, okay, the air within the center of that storm rises faster and faster. And the faster that that air rises, well, the more turbulent or the stronger that the storm becomes. Bomb Genesis always comes with powerful winds because that rapidly rising air has got to be replaced by air coming in from outside the storm. In essence, it's creating its own wind. And in order for the bomb cyclone to be a blizzard, those winds need to be at least 35 miles per hour. Now, the second component in order to get a blizzard out of this storm is visibility that is less than a quarter of a mile due to blowing snow. Both the wind and the decreased visibility has got to last for at least three consecutive hours. Now, I personally think it's pretty interesting to note that you do not need to have falling snow or even big snow totals to have a blizzard. It's that low visibility that makes blizzards so dangerous. I mean, take a look at this. I mean, here we go. You can barely see me. So when it comes to a bomb cyclone and blizzards, you can have one without the other. But here in our area, they do tend to go hand in hand. Guys. All right, Lonnie, thanks so much for that information.